three, two, one. Oh, heck yeah! <laughs> Flight test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hey. And today we have the rocket plane. Rocket plane. Now we've tried to do. Yeah, good job. We tried to do a rocket plane. Sorry, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Go ahead. You were so impressed with yourself. Really impressed. We tried to do a rocket plane in the past, but it didn't work out. The rocket plane. Four D-sized rockets. Ah, <laughs> explosion. Yeah. Our first attempt was with Franken plane and the rocket plane with the glide Rest test. Rest in peace, Franken plane. Yeah. This is. Yeah. The glide test went phenomenal. <laughs> But when we actually tried to do it in real life, um, yeah. it resulted in, in kissing a tree. Didn't bend well for both of them. It was really bad. Turns out, if you uh, get a guy from Sweden, David, lock him in your basement. For a long time. Eventually, he'll produce good results. All you need to do is actually just strategically lay one of these little D-sized rockets on the workbench and run. And you know what he'll do. He thought it was his idea, but we actually just laid the right items we out We put there. the ingredients out. We just and, set uh, the trail of crumbs to the plane. That's right. Yeah. Reese's so, Pieces was the trail. What is this plane? Well, Josh, this is the Park Jet. EPO Park Jet. And this was around this time last, no, no, two years ago. Two years ago, we two reviewed years. this bad boy. And we were freezing our tails off. This is gonna be the Tickle Me Elmo of airplanes. Don't show that. Don't show that. So what we've done, what David did, yeah. was put a D, D rocket. Biggest one you can buy in a hobby shop. On the back of this plane, and you have the rocket plane. Rocket plane! Where were you? Rocket plane! It doesn't Too sound late. good with us separate. No, it doesn't. We gotta do it it's together. together. Try it again. Nope, next time. Okay, so this is the is a normal brushed ESC to have a five volt supply to the receiver and hooked straight into the ignition system on the so you don't want to touch this. Okay, the one you're touching while yeah. it's pointing at my face? Yeah. That's oh so. my gosh, that scared me. Alright, so we're gonna fly it? Yeah, let's go. I'm sure there won't be any issues at all. We very rarely have any any Never, problems. Never actually, I can't even think of one. Uh, there might have been one like two years ago with like one issue. That, that was before flight test even existed though. That's true. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Controlled it on the way up. That's beautiful. I like that. That was fun. Yeah, smoky. No, I always wanted to try it. I don't know. Lots of years since I first saw the the rocket engine in a the little magazine. Since I know Chad and tried it but failed, I thought I would show him up. I want to put a huge rocket on it. Can we do that? We're going to put a rocket on it that's 10 times the power? Yes. 10 times? I'm not going to stand as close. It's like I'm compensating it's, for me it's, and my family. It's the biggest one I could afford mm. legally. Yeah, I think the burn time on this one is 2.5 seconds but it has like 10 times the energy of, of one of these. Oh my gosh, this thing's just, it's gonna hit my house. No, I think we, we should, we can still go. Fine. So we're good to go. All right, let's go. Let's put the tape on that way. This way? Yeah, so it doesn't look stupid. Chad. I'm sorry. Can't say anything nice. Was and say everything on your mind. Okay, so the rating is, of this motor is 10 times as powerful as the old motor. 10 times. Right. 10 times. So whatever you ten saw, times. imagine 10 times you know, that. Longer duration. Okay, this is rocket plane with huge motor on it. Can you say huge again? Huge. Huge. In five, four, three, two, one. Where, where is the camera? 
camera, there's bits everywhere. <laughs> they like infuse the grass with smoke. So this is what happens when you put an F-class rocket. Chad, why did you even have an F rocket in the basement? You just try to order it. Chad, cool. Chad is baiting them. Yeah, because David likes to push things until yeah, it's, they're dead. For our friend David Vinisol, it is not a successful flight until you end up picking pieces up out of the yard. I mean, he That's goes right. big and then he goes explosive. The best landings are the ones that you cannot walk away from. Exactly, exactly. And, and here's what David thought would be logical. After a successful, beautiful launch with a yeah, size oh, rocket. Yeah, great. Um, he had the thrust angle perfect. I mean, the thing was awesome. It wasn't too heavy, it glided nice. Yeah. I think we should revisit that someday. Sure. His design was great. But then, you know, he didn't want to stop there. He had to go with this, which is, I think, the biggest rocket you can legally get from the internet. He put it on the EPO park jet and he blew the thing. The, the receiver is still outside and we cannot find the receiver or the battery. Um, or probably maybe 30, springtime we'll find it. Maybe, maybe with the lawnmower. But uh, he did reveal one great thing that, that the EPO Park Jet is a phenomenal D size, not F size, rocket plane. That's true. Rocket plane! I'm sorry. Got gotcha you there. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's it. okay. You know what? I fell behind. You fell behind. We're even That's now. That's right. We're even now. So, what did we have to learn from this? Rocket plane. Rocket plane! That was, we're back. Yeah, we're back. It was it was awesome to see, and I think we need to revisit this when we can get a micro FPV set up and maybe recreate what we originally set out to do, which was launch an airplane from the back of another airplane, fire the rockets in yeah. the air, X1 Bell style. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks Stone Cat Productions for sponsoring this episode. Thanks David for destroying more airplanes. Absolutely. Clearing out our basement. What would we do without you? An evilly, unnatural, evilly? Mm -hmm, sure. A natural that evil that way. Slide. That's what we'll say, a natural evil way. Ah! Ah! <laughs> well, wait, wait, come back here, come back here. No, 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 no you no. need to come back here, no. right now. Don't throw potato <laughs> <laughs> He's a Only a Swedish guy throws potato chips. <laughs> no, anyway, seriously. Thanks for watching. Jeez. See you guys next time. Two, one. Rocket <laughs> 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 plane! We're back. Yeah, we're back.